Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your ping, reduce latency, packet loss, input delay, and so much more in Fortnite season three dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the Fortnite compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up Epic Games on your PC. Once you're here, go down to library and then right click on these three dots. Then click on manage and over here, go to the open installation location. Once you're here, go to Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and you'll find in Fortnite client win64shipping.exe. Right click on it and then go over to properties. Then go to compatibility and then disable full screen optimization. Click on change high DPI settings and then over here, override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK, click on apply. Step number two is firewall settings. And for that, search for allow an app through Windows firewall. Simply click on it. Then over here, go over to change settings. Click on allow another app. Go over to the browse button and then open up Fortnite in this list once you are here add win64shipping.exe in this list once again it's already added so go and find it once you found it simply click on private and public make sure that both of them are checked after that click on ok and then close it well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient. And once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes. And using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall. Links are in the description below. Step number three is the control panel settings for your Ethernet. And for that, open up control panel on your PC. Once you're here, search for network and internet network and sharing center then click on your ethernet then go over to properties over here click on configure and then go to advanced now once again copy the exact same settings After that, go over to power management and make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked. Then click on OK and then close it. Once again, click on Ethernet again, go over to properties and this time open up Internet Protocol version 4. Then click on the following DNS server addresses and then over here add 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate one should be 8.8.4.4. .8 once again, if this doesn't help you, you can alternatively try 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.0.0. That will be Cloudflare servers and if those DNS give you better ping, it would be an advantage. Simply click on OK, OK and then close it. Don't close your control panel yet because you have to change some power settings. Simply search for power over here and then go over to power options. Then. Whichever plan you are on, make sure to select high performance right over here. Then click on change plan settings and click on change advanced power settings. Then you'll find your PCIe Express. Simply click on it, link state power management and set this thing to off. Also process power management, minimum processor state, set this thing to 100%. Simply click on OK and you should be good to go. Next step is device manager. And for that, search for device manager on your PC. Once you're here, click on system devices and then disable composite bus enumerator and high precision event timer. Both of them leads to input latency and disabling them will help you to fix your input delay. After that, find network adopters, find your ethernet controller, right click on it, go over to properties and then over to power management. Make sure that this is unchecked. And once that is done, click on OK. Next step is MS config. 
and it is a big step so make sure to follow it wisely windows and r key together and then type in ms config once you're here go to the boot section click on advanced option click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor this will reduce your booting time go over to the services section select hide all microsoft services and deselect all unwanted services that you do not want to boot with your pc this includes update services browser update services fan and rgb control services then there are printer services if you don't use it benchmarking services because all of them consumes processor in the background disabling them will help you to reduce input latency as well as less processor being utilized while you play the game also go over to the startup section click on open task manager over here go to the startup apps and then make sure to disable all unwanted applications right over here this will help you to reduce your bios time and it will also help to reduce the number of applications running in the background that consumes your internet ultimately giving you better ping less input latency less packet loss and improve your internet connection overall next step is using no ping no ping is pro's choice to get rid of all of your ping packet loss internet issues input latency and so much more you can download it from the link in the description below for completely free once you open up this application it should look like this and over here simply search for the game that you want to play you can choose over 1000 games right over here simply click on select the server then find the nearest server to you for me it will be dubai 01 simply click on optimize the game and it will one click optimize your fortnite no ping ensures that your internet is going straight from your pc to the game servers without any hindrance ultimately fixing all of your packet loss ping issues and so much more the best part about this application is the setting gear right over here which offers you turbo games which reduces your keyboard input latency also the boost fps section we simply click on it and enable all of these options and it will ultimately help you to get extra fps in your game straight away this is a win-win so i suggest you guys to go use no ping for playing your games you can go check out no ping from the link in the description below it's completely worth it next step is creating a restore point and this is super important search for create a restore point on your pc and over here simply locate your local disk c click on create and name it fortnite just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore your system back to normal without any data loss it might take a second so let your pc to make this restore point once it is done simply click on close close system properties and now let's move to the next step that is fortnite network optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below it is tailored for the coming season and it will help you as well over here simply open up the first folder which is registry optimization in which i have left disabling unnecessary services services, increasing power efficiency, PC optimization and Win32 priority separation. All of them will help you to improve the power consumption on your PC as well as utilize your Ethernet on the higher priority. Then go back to the second folder which is network optimization and simply right click and run this bat as an administrator. All it does is basically runs some commands that you do not have to run manually. It will automatically perform all of them and it will ensure you get the lowest amount of input latency as well as best ping in the game. Third is the input lag folder in which I have left keyboard latency and mouse latency fixes. For keyboard latency, you can comment your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from from this list. For the mouse latency, I would suggest you guys to enable both of them. However, if you're a laptop user, skip disabling pointer precision. If you use a trackpad, if you use a mouse, then only disable your pointer precision. It will help you to decrease the input latency of your mouse. Last is the Fortnite priority. And once again, this is the high priority and Fortnite optimization for your PC. Make sure to run both of them as it will help you to set the priority for your fortnite once that is done simply close this optimization pack and you are good to play fortnite on the best ping and lowest packet loss possible i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and a subscription would really help me also we have rolled channel membership so if you're not a channel member yet do consider getting the membership it really helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out